Hi there, Gemini. Thank you so very much for your patience with this reading. It is your August reading. We're already in August. Oh my goodness, time is flying by us. Um, meditation for you, Gemini, is so pivotal this month. I the words were just flowing right out of my mouth before I could even even, even think about what I was going to say. Exactly. There's something about uh, uh, focus. Focus on, 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 um, I'm hearing on hearsay, on hearsay, on what may not even have a voice to you, what, what may not even be spoken, what is just simply unheard, unheard, unheard of, you're coming to clarity with. You're coming to terms with in that space of solitude. Now we have the Emperor upright overlaying the Three of Cups in reverse, overlaying the Three of Swords in reverse, overlaying the Empress upright. A pair here, Emperor and Empress, right up and out at the apex, overlaying the Citrine um, Crystal. And the Citrine Crystal is somewhat... Um, foundational as I as I perceive it here for you especially given that you have the Empress and the Emperor a pair out together there's something foundational rudimentary you have two threes you have three threes here actually you have the third major arcana and the Empress the three of swords and you have the three of cups so there's something I'm getting rudimentary, something foundational, perhaps from the past, from a, from a, there's a history that has to do with whatever this pair is. For a number of you, I'm feeling archaic, archaic. For a number of you, I'm hearing mother and father. Let's get into the Celtic cross Gemini. Okay, that was interesting. Eight of cups preceding the seven of cups something is coming into order for you as it pertains to an emotional understanding of the past okay heavy 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 water energy that is being let go that is being let go of now let's move um let's move further into the spread here okay so you want to pop out there so you want to pop out your final outcome environment Aha, so you want to pop up lots of duplicates here lots of duplicates and let's pull these two all right Gemini well let's first read them off one second let me get all of these situated here For a number of you, I am hearing honing in on your craft, honing in on what you call yours, what you make your own. Okay, this this came through. I believe similarly there was a, there was a bent on uh, on intellectual property, as I remember it for your last reading mid July. But what I'm feeling here is is a focus on the perfection, the fine tuned details. Sparsing out, sparsing out, whatever uh, uh, has remained, sort of, um, I'm here in the shadow, in the shadow space, in the void, on the back burner. You're now pulling everything out of all those drawers, laying them all out, I'm here neat and clean, to get a really close look at, at you. What am I working with? Who am I? in the process of whatever it is that I compile in this space, this creative zone, when I get into my creative zone, it's that dabbling in myself, not outside of myself, but in myself. And I must go deep, deep, deep within, within my creative, I'm hearing standstill creative standstill, whereby throughout the process of creativity and creation, I recognize that it's not always that, that it's not always right, a constancy of actual creation. There are the moments, there are the times when I just need to sit back. I'm hearing and relax. 
I need to sit back and take the time to just absorb, to feel my way through. And sodalite, right, this, this heavy, heavy sodalite stone that grabbed me at the beginning of the reading, right? I was like, before I could even say anything else, it was like meditation. So there's something, Gemini, about even it's like, even if it's like you feel it's against your will almost, right? It's like, let's say you're, let's just say you're in this, in this creative zone, okay? And you are focusing on, and I'm hearing singer-songwriter coming through for a number of you, but I'm seeing you, whatever it is, in a studio, wherever you may be, in that space of, of just, the, I'm hearing the soundscape. The soundscape where you are honing in on on the work that you do, you're you're just taken you're taken by the experience of this creativity, and you're like it gets to the point where you feel just you, you love what you're doing, you love it, but you feel almost exhausted at a certain point. Right? It's like, how much can I create? How much can I create dynamically? Comes a point where I need to honor, right? The pauses, the break time that may feel, right? Like an impedance to the creative progression of things, but that actually serve to further stimulate whatever it is that I hold is my vision for the creative process. So there's something about taking a step back to refresh the vision that you hold that I feel precedes the actual creativity. Whatever it is that you're creating, Gemini, if you're in a creative process, in a project, whatever it may be, I'm hearing temper. Temper, your reserves, temperance. And so it's that feeling of like, Right, you're in the you're just in the middle of so being so involved fine-tunely in the work that you're doing that it's like you've you've set an alarm for yourself, right? And you're like, I no matter no matter how involved they get in the process, I'm going to promise myself th to take a break, right? At any point that it is. So let's say 45 minutes, I'm gonna put a timer on, and that's it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get up from the desk and, um, and, and, uh, deviate right? my focus from, from what I've been working on. And I see you, it's like that, that feeling of like the ringer goes off and you're like, Oh my God, I was at the best part of creating this. And now I need to, it's like, you got to pull yourself from the table. Like, like just just pulling the pen from your fingers like it's something about but you're you know why you're doing it it's about remembering why you're doing it right oh yes 45 minutes prior right I had promised myself I didn't want to get burnt out I didn't want to see whatever the situation is fizzle so I set the like, sort of precautionary parameters Okay, that would help me temper my fuel to last me. I'm hearing longevity to last me. I'm hearing eons and eons. So whatever this is, it's a long drawn out creative process. Part of you is like, it's like very Gemini. It's like, I want to do it, right? Like so much stimulation, such a creative, uh, 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 it's this fuel. This create, it's like, I'm hearing like jet fuel. It's like creative uh, fusion. You may be working with others on whatever this project may be, creative project. It may have to do with speaking oration. I'm hearing lyrics, I'm hearing songwriting for a number of you, for a number of you. And you are Gemini, right? Ruled by Mercury, planet of communication. There is a focus though on collaboration collaboration 
that goes very deep, very, very deep, layers deep. Okay, but there is a need. You're like almost have to pull yourself, right? From the alarm is going off. Like, oh my gosh, right? Like you want to turn, you want to put snooze on. You really, I feel it. Like you want to, you're like, I don't want to wake up from this dream. <laughs> I want to see what happens <laughs> next. I want to play it out, right? And it's that feeling like <laughs> waking up, right, from a dream, the best kind of dream, where you're really enjoying it, or it's like we're getting really interesting, right? You're, you're living something out. You're living something out. And the dream feels so real. And maybe the dream is answering certain questions for you about your life. Right? Take it as you will. Whatever this dream may resemble for you, Gemini in particular, but there is this feeling of like the alarm going off, right? Just at like the climax of that of that film, of that dream, whatever it may be for you. And but it requires you to take the time to take it all in. But I get it, Gemini, I get it. You're like it's that feeling, right? We all, well, I've been there. <laughs> you're like, the alarm goes off. You're like, no, 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 I need to finish that dream. Like, snooze. You're like, almost trying to force yourself back into that astral realm. <laughs> right? Replaying the last steps of the, of, of the dream, right? Like, I want to know what comes next. But there's something, again, and you understand why you're doing it. You understand. You, it's almost like you promised yourself before you went to bed, right? I'm going to put that alarm on. Even, even though I know, right, I'm a, I'm a heavy dreamer. And I'm going to be living through something during this time. I'm going to be taken places. Metaphorically, spiritually, physically, however you take it, Gemini. I know that this is going, this experience is, is 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 taking me with it and because of that to not get swept right by the tide and to 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 preserve whatever this function and this fuel is of my creativity into the long 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 term right eons and eons i understand that it's time right to wake up Every so often, every so often, breaks and breaks, but it fuels you. Those breaks fuel you, Gemini, I almost said Cancer and Capricorn at the same time. Whatever this means for you, Taurus is also coming through, so take it as you will. But there is, I'm hearing a function and a purpose to these breaks, whatever that may mean to you, it, be it an actual break, right, taking time off. The meditative breaks during, right, in between your work hours. Taking the time to, right, step away from what feels like productivity. To take part in another form, right, of fueling, I keep hearing jet fuel, fueling that productivity just by, by way of, right, another alternate, I mean, alternate ulterior method. So it's just a shifting of perception. It's looking into the long term. I understand, especially if you have a lot of Gemini in your in your chart. Oh my goodness, right? It's like this this air energy. It's it's and there's this grounding. There's this strong water energy that you feel you need to temper with, that you feel you need to work with. But it's very becoming. It's very. It's it's it's. Uh, there's a responsibility with which you're taking this stage of your personal development. And you're honoring that. You're honoring whatever it takes for you to make the most of the whole process. Now, absolutely, right? There may be a partnership involved. There may be a group of individuals with whom you are uh, almost, it's like I'm hearing abiding by, okay, working in tandem with, alongside. Something about parameters of what as well, I'm hearing that. Guidelines. But I'm also hearing resurfacing. So there's some, and you have the three of swords in reverse, you have the three of cups in reverse. Whatever this sense of community, uh, camaraderie, I'm hearing that for a number of you. 
Um, you're in commonplace. This may be speaking to the work environment. Okay. Something about whatever this, uh, um, I'm hearing this fabrication is, this union is, also this gratification. There may be a sense of, or may have been a sense of gratification that has come by way of this collaboration. And it may be that which you're taking time off from. Perhaps you have the emperor and the empress sandwiching these two threes, three of cups, three of swords. I feel on one hand, it's like almost like against your will. You're being pulled from the bed, right? Against your will, quote unquote. There is though at the same time an understanding of why we're doing this. I understand. It's like, I've got to go away to school. I know why I'm doing this. Right? I, 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 I get it. I, I understand, right? It's like having to having to um, part with a loved one at a certain point in time, friends, whoever it may be, right? Social groups. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. But it's I'm hearing caretaking. It's caretaking. And there's something about the longevity and the cyclical nature of whatever this union is as well that, right, at one point gave you Pleasure gives you pleasure, gives you a sense of commonplace, home, status. I'm hearing status. And then, right, this, this feeling of breaking as a part of the whole and recognizing the individuality of yourself as one of the members of this unit, of this being. So it's, I don't see it for you, Gemini, as like, goodbye. Like, be all, end all. Like, I don't see it as a final farewell. I see it as a temporary, I'm hearing translocation. Translocation is coming through for you. This may be a physical move, maybe by way of the need to physically move, that whatever this partnership is, is on standstill. But there is an alleviation as well, Gemini, that comes by way of whatever this union was, whatever this uh, camaraderie was. Association, I'm here, association as well. Whoever it was that you may have associated with at one point in time, right? You recognize it's for the greater good, even beyond the parameters of whatever this partnership is. It serves us all for all of us to find ourselves as individuals within this network so that, right, we can come together. I'm hearing periodically, I'm hearing trance. So it may be by way, yet again, a meditation, meditation that you, I'm hearing join forces, whatever this spiritual connection may be, strong, strong spiritual connection, whatever this unspoken dialect, dialogue, transfusion of energy over time, over space may be. You recognize that it's beyond what brings you together in the physical. It's beyond what even others or you see yourselves as, as the human sort of unit. Or, or composition of sameness. So Gemini, it's getting it's getting very sort of there's an intermingling effect that and even that of perception upon whatever this union is, and it may be right, you and two others, you and two others, or you and another, or you and your perception of others in the world, of your community. Okay, however you take it, right? There is, uh, yet again, yet again, this recognition of purpose and values. Who am I? I want to find that once and for all. Right? Before I come into my own, in what feels like my home, before I stabilize myself, I've got to understand myself. What makes me, I'm here, what makes me, what breaks me. I want to understand where my weaknesses lie, my weaknesses. I want to understand where my strengths are waiting to be. I'm 
carry planted, implanted into the ground. It's the fortitude and the strength of this inborn character. I'm hearing in characteristic of your personal truth that solidifies the bond and makes you strong enough to surpass the physical dimensionality of the distance between it. I see it like this, Gemini. It's like a rubber band. It's like a, it's like a rubber band. And you pull this rubber band, right, from either end, and it gets stretched out. Right? And inside of this void is just this, this, this void. This airiness, this question, this imperceptibility. That which we can't see, that which we can't feel, touch, taste, hear, by way of our physical expectations to experience it. There is, nevertheless, a cyclical nature and I'm hearing stratosphere. There is a there is a force, a force that connects you all, connects you all in this void. Where none of you may see each other, where none of you may be with each other, quote unquote, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing but resurfacing, but resurfacing. It's where you see yourself as the microcosm within the macrocosm, Gemini. And, and you realize, you're like, I need to, right? It's like zooming out and zooming in, zooming out and zooming in. And it may feel as a human that there is this distance, that there is this void. But you have this broader range of understanding. You're like zooming out and you're, you're, you're watching this rubber band. It's like a conveyor belt, right? And it's just how you pull the rubber band that, deter that determines, right, what, what we feel that it encases. So Gemini, it's very deep, whatever the, whatever this is, right? Lots of time spent on whatever this, this uh, union, the feeling of the union is. But there's, um, I don't feel that there's a breaking from it and I don't feel that there is like a, uh, 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 an insistence on remaining in it. Not not to the degree where, where, where you would, you would um, that forgoes whatever this um, desire for ultimate expansion and growth is. That's your priority. And you are standing by that. And you ultimately, right? You you want to see this through into the long term. So it's a short-term sacrifice, I'm hearing that. Now let's get, in, depending on how you see it, right? Sacrifice. Always, right? Um, everything is perception. But the theme the three of wands in reverse, okay, overlaying strength, overlaying the hanged man of right, overlaying the nine of pentacles in reverse, okay, now nine of pentacles in reverse is overlaying the ace of cups in reverse, this is all happening in your theme, all happening in your theme, let's uh, read off all the cards though here for you, seven of cups in reverse in your deep past, eight of cups in reverse in your recent past, beautiful progression, okay, and in and of themselves, lovely to see them both in reverse, you have the ace of wands in reverse in your energy pathway that you stepped into that helped lead you to your current state of the sun of wands upright, okay, 
Okay, you have the Nine of Cups in reverse in your advice. You have the Four of Swords in reverse in your environment. You have the, uh, okay, two cards here that wanted to pop out together uh, side by side in your near future. And it is the Son of Cups in reverse and the Magician in reverse. And they are both looking back at this Nine of Cups in reverse. And the Son of Wands is looking at the Nine of Cups in reverse. So there's a lot of focus. I'm hearing premonition. Whatever this is, it's expected. It's expected. You, it's, it, there's a willfulness. There's a willingness and there's, I'm hearing abiding by the laws, the rules. You understand there's something about bureaucracy perhaps as well for a number of you. Something about the law. Something about needing to, however you take it, right? Being in the actual law or the laws right, of our personal philosophy, of our values yet again that we stand by. To fulfill our ultimate dream. That may require us to stand back from the dream every now and then yet again. Let's get further into it though. Gemini, six of wands in reverse in your hopes and our fears. And of course, right, that can be one and the same. What we hope for, we can fear. We fear, we kind of hope for, right? So interchangeably. But there is the ace of pentacles upright, the four of wands uh, in reverse. Okay. And I was compelled to pull these two together in tandem for your final outcome, so we'll heed that. You then have in your energetic pathway that leads you into this final outcome, the two of cups in reverse, the chariot in reverse. Okay, let's get into it. I also pulled here the father of ones in reverse and the ten of cups upright for you. All right, right off to the side. Father of wands is looking over at this whole process. It's very emotional for this individual if this is not you, if this is not representing you, if you don't have a lot of, if you have a lot of fire in your chart, right? Or if this is um, perhaps resembling a, a creative facet or role, role, creative role that you feel yourself, you recognize yourself to take on throughout the process, right? It may be pertaining to you. Always, always take it as you will. Heed your own personal intuition, but if, if, this resonates with you as being a strong fire sign who is, um, it could be male or female, right? We all have these two propensities, the masculine, the feminine, the yin, the yang. But if this is another individual who is somehow involved in the process, they, it's a culmination. It's an emotional coming to terms for them. It's an emotional culmination for them, whatever this is. They're seeing you from a distance, watching you, giving you this sort of space to be who you are, to take on your livelihood. I'm hearing that, your livelihood. They, they are watching you come into your own. It doesn't mean that it's not emotional for them. It is emotional for them. Absolutely, it may be emotional for them, right? Ten of Cups, that's a lot of water, right? That's like an understanding, though, and a coming to terms with those emotions in a way that is mature. Right, that, that seeks to be mature. And as, as, as um, hot-blooded, as impulsive, as passionate as this individual may be, again, it may be your own propensity, right? Creative drive to keep this creative process going. You recognize, if I want to step into this role as the ultimate, ultimate, right? Reaching my sort of potential, the pinnacle of whatever it is that, however I serve in my own creative process, I must come to terms with what this emotional past has been, whatever the emotional, uh, I'm hearing standstill, standing has been, whatever the lineage of experience has been until this very point that leads me to the threshold of this new world. And just being with Just accepting it. All that comes through in this void. Feeling everything. Feeling everything. Letting it, letting it all be expressed. Right? It's like, I'm going to stand in front of this mirror and not say anything. I may even close my eyes completely and just 
feel without thinking, just feel and flow forward into this new beginning. And whatever that wave feels like when I'm on it, I will accept that as part of the journey. That's what makes it real for me to embody and honor those emotions, that propensity within me to feel a lot. So it's very momentous, right? Whatever, whatever this transformation is, Gemini, you are being taken by it, as too are those around you. It's culminating. There's a feeling of culmination. It's, but it's one that is taken uh, uh, with a sense of maturity. And I'm also hearing with a grain of salt, with a grain of salt. So it's like, it's like, it's not all, it's not right. You're waving goodbye, but that doesn't mean that it's, it's like goodbye forever. It's like that. It's like that. The goodbye, the goodbye, the goodbye is not, and I repeated that, right? It's like the cyclical. It's like coming and going, coming and going, bobbing in and out. It's not, uh, uh, I'm hearing, it's not like a forever goodbye. It's, so you're seeing beyond what you are hearing, feeling, in every way, I'm feeling in many ways, take it as you will, Gemini, but there is this new beginning on the horizon. It's so very beautiful. It's a portal that you're moving into. It's very creative and it requires of you to remain brave, to remember why you are, and you have decided to step through this next chapter in your life. It's enchanting, it's wild, and I'm hearing it grows like wildfire. You are ready for it. You're beyond ready for it. You want to see what comes. You, you are eager, 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 hanged man, upright. Wake me up, right? So I can dream again. So there's this oscillation between the physical, um, creative process and sensation of creating and and that which is understanding of that whole process on a level that's just not even conscious so you're kind of uh it's like you're riding a wave with almost like two surfboards that's how i'm seeing it for you you're riding this wave with two surfboards one leg on one surfboard, one leg on the other. And it's this unity and this, and this, and this uh, harmony of the polarity of the experience that drives you through it. It's so beautiful. It is, I'm hearing challenging. It's not easy, right? But it, but it tests you. And again, you understand why you're doing it now. Okay. There is right. This uh, clarity that has come about a sort of oscillation of feeling. What do I feel? What do I want? What do I want to feel? What do I, how do I, how do I feel? <laughs> what is my emotional truth? What was, how, what do I make of what was in the past? And what does that all mean for me here right now? And you're ready to seek beyond whatever this was right. Emotionally especially whatever these emotions were, whatever this emotional story was. And as I say that my right hand specifically right here in this area, um, in between my thumb and my pointer finger is, uh, it's like stiff. It's like sore. So there's, uh, however, whatever that means to you. Okay. It made the writing, writing, I'm hearing driving may be involved. So, there is, right, a memory, okay, of this, of this past, but it, you recognize, in a way, right, formed the sort of precursor, okay, to whatever this, I'm hearing creative dabbling was, is, continues to be into the long term, long term, long term. It's a cycle. It's a process. You, I'm hearing, have come out of it. You have learned a lot about yourself emotionally. There's been this, I'm hearing this, this coming to terms, coming to terms with your own emotions. I'm hearing this for some of you for with your own emotions strongly, but there has been a resurfacing of the readiness to start anew, start anew and reinvigorate what it is that you see to be your world 
into the future. It requires of you, Gemini, to hold fast to this vision. Hold fast to this vision. Meet yourself in this space, this quiet space, your zone. Get in your zone every now and then, right? Every now and then. Just as much as you take a break from it, right? Ensure that you are meeting yourself in this space to meet yourself appearing at the same pace. So there's something about rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Right? For example, I'm just, this is coming to me like 45 minutes on, 45 minutes off. I'm gonna work in 45 minutes, I'm gonna take a break in 45 minutes. And again, right, I'm feeling this, this, uh, almost like a, it's like a sort of a soreness right here. Okay, it's like a tendonitis. So, writing, writing, piano playing, I'm hearing that as well. Something about, uh, uh, uh tempering your efforts, and I almost said Sagittarius. Okay, so what, if you know Sagittarius, if you have a Sagittarius rising sun or moon sign, then you may want to check that video out. But there's something about temperance and waiting, 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 waiting. Now, okay, I'm hearing waiting game. So, but you expect it, Gemini, you expect it. This is not like, what? Like, I have to wait? Oh my gosh, what? Like, I have to wake up for my dream? I didn't know that I had to wake up. It's like, you you know, okay, you, you get it. But there is now... Okay, this embodiment, complete embodiment of the whole process as the creator of it yet again, not just always creating, not just always on, but recognizing as a creator, right? I need to take my, my breaks. I also need to take the time to uh, dedicate myself completely, focusing wholeheartedly on whatever it is that is my craft, that I call my own. But, right that must be spent, I'm hearing spent, and thought out in equal measure. And that, you realize, is what makes you a creator. That is honoring, right? The, uh, I'm hearing the void, the void, the time, the space, the distance, honoring that project. Even if you feel like I'm not working on my project right now, I, I feel like I'm not working. You're working, right? Always on yourself, on your own time. So again, I'm feeling great maturity with this great maturity, my major, like you making your own schedule, being super in control of it. You call in the shots, right? Self-discipline. Right? I'm feeling that very strongly. And the focus for you is recognizing even if, right, my dream isn't manifesting as I see it in the third dimension, as I see it in the third dimension. Right now, tomorrow, the day after, I recognize that it's always manifesting on the clock and off the clock because I am the creator of it and I am always eternally in a state of growth, in a state of dynamism, of purpose. So you are evolving. I almost said Sagittarius again. If you know Sagittarius, if you have Sagittarius rising as a long moon sign, then you may want to check that video out. There may be some crossover. Even if you're not, even if you don't know, right, but I'm in Sagittarius, there may be a message for you. I haven't done Sagittarius yet. You guys are the first ones out. So, Gemini. I'm hearing clothes. I'm hearing clothes. So, again, right? It's a chapter. This is a chapter. And where you feel that in some shape or form the door is closing, you you have the foresight to see the whole house that this room resides in, recognizing that it leads to another, leads to another and it's all part of this greater construction of your exploration of you. 
And that process is eternal yet again, Gemini, right? No matter how you feel to be involved in it physically, spiritually, mentally, right? Literally, metaphorically. Now, there is, okay, in your future, I'll say it like this. I'll, I'm going to move up to the environment first. There is a recognition that by stepping into your own, I'm hearing into your own palace, okay, whatever that may mean to a number of you, stepping into your own and out of whatever this, uh, I'm hearing fortified bond may be, this causes you to think deeply, sincerely about what it is you really want to create. This is like your me time, me, my alone time. And my wrist here is, is, it's like burning, okay, almost as Sagittarius as again. So something about writing, something about writing, something about communication, okay, in that space of momentary alliance with self, silence. I'm hearing fruition. Your answers, okay, your answers and your ability to discern them takes place when there's no one around. Not even, right? Your own sort of intellectual mind, the voices in your head, right? It's the silencing of all of that, of all of that, that... opens the door to the illumination and greater understanding of what exactly is happening. Specifically, as I'm feeling this union, whatever this parting may be, right? You're seeing it in, in, a, in a very, uh, you're seeing it in, a, in almost in an esoteric way, okay? So I don't feel that, I feel that there's an alleviation, okay? I do feel that there is absolutely an, an alleviation Okay. But of purpose, of purpose, whereby you feel it's like this, this exhalation, right? Like I, the glasses are off. Yes, that dream was amazing, but right? I just realized I'm hungry and I'm ready for breakfast, right? It's like that kind of thing. It's, a, it's the two sides of the coin, two sides of the story. And so there's this readiness to live this um, projection out, okay, of, of it all, of what has been and where that leads you. Now, this is a period of, I'm hearing momentary, momentary remission, momentary standstill from what you have considered to be the path forward to bringing whatever this dream is to fruition. You recognize yet again, it's not all go, 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 go. It's not all green light. It's, it's, I've got to take my time to find my place, to, to figure out how I want to light the stage up. Right? The magician is taking the time. Son of Cups is taking the time. It's like, I feel that these are all like almost like personnel, right? It's like all these characters and you all share this collective dream, be it all the characters of your being right, that go into the creation of whatever this is. It's like you all sort of agree. There's this consensus that what we're creating means a lot to us. And so we want it to mean a lot to others and there is a responsibility perhaps communal perhaps that which is societal global universal and beyond that you feel whatever this project is requires you to take on so again I feel that if you're working with others you all get it you all feel it I we gotta take this really seriously and it's not about just jumping into it, right? We are creating this from the ground up. And who am I in the process? And who are you in the process? Let's find ourselves. And understand why we are even standing here next to each other 
in this very moment, staring at ourselves in the mirror, seeing in ourselves the dreams that we hold, the visions that we share of what we want to create together. And honoring that the process and the path there may, may be first individual. Right, like Son of Cups is like the stage painter. I've got to really learn how to use the, these tools. I've got to really hone in on my craft. What do I want to paint right on the on the backdrop of the stage? The magician's like, what is my starring act? What is it that I want to right, share with the world? That is my gift, my talent, that's very personal to me, that only I, right, know how to do. Not by knowing, right, but that which is discovered by way of just discovering you and letting whoever you are flow forward. There is, I'm hearing you're abiding by yourself. So whatever this time is, it's like as if, right, bureaucracy, I mean, this is a big focus for you coming through. Whatever this schedule is, okay, time stamp, I'm hearing time stamp is, requirement to take time off, I'm hearing layoff for a number of you. Whatever this may be in your particular situation, it's like, yes, on one hand, it's happening because it needs to, by way of this greater force, quote unquote, greater force. It's this schedule, right? But there's a layer beyond that that I feel and I appreciate and I recognize in whatever it is that drives me to comply with it. And that brings me deeper and further into myself. Now, I'm hearing the time apart will serve us well. And the six of wands in reverse in your hopes and our fears. It's underpinning the two of cups in reverse and the chariot in reverse. Which speak of this Readiness, okay, to find oneself, that being the driving force, the passion. Not because you don't want this merging or this partnership or this camaraderie, I'm hearing this camaraderie or this social accompaniment to whatever this grand plan is, but because you do but you want it in the most real way, in the most authentic way, where you can actually serve, I'm hearing serve as your best version, as your best you, rather. You want to make sure that you form a component of whatever this team in the way where, right, serves you best, and thereby, play by play play by play, where you, you feel that you're serving as a, as, as you know where you stand within the team. And you understand really why you're there and you get why, what you bring to the table. So it's not that you don't want this partnership. If you feel this is a partnership, if you resonate with that, it's not that you don't want this partnership. hearing recollection of purpose and path coming into your own I was a Sagittarius again okay now now you're leading into your final outcome with ace of pentacles upright the four of pen a four of uh, wands wands in reverse okay but there's a lot of fusion right intermingling between the elements with this four of wands fire earth air and it's accompanying whatever this new beginning is, the solidification of a new purpose. There is this time that's taken to dream 
deeply form the fundamental understanding of why you're doing this, why you want this new beginning. You step into it, you step into it. But it requires you to see it, see it, and see beyond it. Being open to it, whatever it may turn into, right? So there's an expectation, of course, I feel that. There's a certain certain uh, expectation, right? There's, a again, premonition. But then there's this focus on surrender. And it's interesting, right? Because there is this surrender. This, this mystery, this question, but then there's also this stability and this confirmation of the beginning. By way of this sort of transference, I'm hearing of, of power, this transference of energy where you, I'm hearing interlocutor, where you and how you channel your energy. So it's something just about the shift of perception of it, shift of perception of it. And whatever this new beginning is, it gives you the time to really unravel, right? Where this all goes, first internally, right? And that process is very personal very, very personal. And yet again, there's an element of, I'm hearing premonition. Okay. Again, I feel that especially, if you've got a lot of water on your chart, you feel it, you feel it and you know it, you know it and you, and you, you beyond, you've known it. Okay. You've known what is and what's coming. But at the same time, right, you're thinking, I've got to be totally open, not to what comes, but to myself and what it is that I find and I feel as I give myself completely to this new experience. It's wild. I'm hearing it's wild. Gemini, I almost said Sagittarius again. So very strong, strong archetype coming through for you in the reading. Um, but uh, it's a very exciting new chapter, Gemini. I hope you have a beautiful August. Um, this is a it's a it's a it's a um, first of the fifteenth month reading, okay, and then after which we'll have a mid month reading. So it'll span roughly the first of the fifteenth. Uh, it could permeate a little before then, a little after, right? Of course, energy is fluid, so. Um, it may resonate differently for everyone, but I highly recommend you to check out your rising ascendant or moon sign as well, as oftentimes those may provide you with further insights into your situation. So, for example, I know I resonate a lot with my moon sign, even more than my sun. Sometimes it depends, so um, it doesn't hurt to check it out. If you don't know your signs, you can click the link below in the description box that I provide, and that will compute them for you. All right. Thank you so very much for tuning in, Gemini, and for all of your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. I'm so very touched by all of you. Thank you for connecting. Love and light to you all on this journey ahead, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.